It's a, it's a bit of a struggle, you know, we're just trying to make everything as affordable as we can like anybody else would do, and it's, uh, it is tough. Aiden Callahan's parents have always been on his team. They watched him grow into an all-conference defensive end for the Lake House Silverhawks football team and an invitation to play for a non-scholarship spot on the University of Central Florida's team. He was supposed to take the SAT one more time to try and earn a bright future scholarship, but because of coronavirus, the college board has canceled the test until August. The bright future's deadline is July 31st. Uh, it's very frustrating, you know, I'm, I'm trying to hang on to a lot of things from high school to, you know, be able to keep my wits, my wits smart to be able to take this test and do good on it. And while I'm also trying to balance starting some college classes right now, it's very difficult. Aiden is scheduled to take the July 18th ACT test, which could qualify him for Bright Futures, but that's if it doesn't get canceled. We have no control over the test dates, none. So there's nothing that we can do, and I, we are not the only family. He, there's, he's not the only student in this position. Our, our hopes and prayers are that he can take the ACT and he does well enough on it that uh, this is a non-issue. The Department of Education tells us, quote, we're currently working with and acting as a liaison between ACT and local school districts and colleges to ensure seniors graduating this year have priority to take the test as well as opening test sites for those taking the ACT on July 18th. But the clock is ticking with little time left to score a scholarship. I'm just throwing a Hail Mary pass and hoping that we can come down with it. Right now, Aiden is just going to focus on playing football for UCF, just as he did here at Lake Howell High School, and hope that things change so he can get a bright future scholarship. In Seminole County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. On June 10th, the Education Commissioner signed an executive order dispensing with the bright future's requirement for community service hours.